Quick tour. All right. One of the coolest things about this sucker from the, uh, if you had one of your dad's old stereos, had those kind of greenish blue colors on the dials. I mean, like, how cool is that? So when this thing's on your back line, just looks cool to start with. H logo. Get a little light on this thing. All right, it's two channels. This is the uh, clean channel. Volume bass, treble, brilliance. It's got a normal and bright input. Second channel is volume, bass, treble, and instead of brilliance, we have presence. How interesting is that? And then we have a sustain, because this switch right here, which is also foot switchable, activates, fuck, I don't know, some crazy ass fuzz thing. They call it sustain, but it's fuzz. And it has a bright and normal. And this is a global, basically like a Think of like a pentode triode mode on a tube amp. It just cuts the power. They call it live mode and studio mode. And studio mode is just whisper quiet but still louder than shit. I mean, I've got this thing on like one and a half. Clean side is on, not even on one. And it's super loud. So, got kind of a clusterfuck going on over here. But let me throw some stuff in here. You can give it a listen. It's going to start over on the clean side. It's got a very nice kind of full thick tube tone. This side's basically the same thing. And then, if we activate this sustain job, check this sucker out. crazy. It's like uh, your cousin's homemade fuzz pedal. Anyway. Oh, here, check out the side of this thing. So that's a normal, you know, tube head this thing is very tiny, weighs like, I don't know, I'm not even going to guess. Weighs half as much as that thing. It's built into this funky, like, rack-looking case with handles. And to get inside of it, it's kind of cool. The only thing you have to do is take off these finger-tight thumb screws on the side. And the whole thing slides out of this kind of rack case looking thing. That's it. The HH IC100. Famously used by Mark Bolin, T Rex, 
actually. You've probably seen this album cover before. That's the amp right there. Nobody even knows it. That skinny thing on top with all the knobs. Also used by Daniel Ash of Bauhaus and Love and Rockets. David Gilmore used it. Many other famous people.